matters. Mm. First, though, here's a shocking statistic. More than 100 people every day are admitted to hospital in England with alcoholic liver disease. And what's worse, that number could be on the rise. Figures on just how much alcohol that we're drinking and the effect that it's having on our health are going to be published by the NHS today. And there's concern they could show an increase in the number of people being treated for alcohol-related illnesses. Well, Imogen Shilatos from the British Liver Trust, good morning. Good morning. Well, you were with us the other day. We were talking about the size of glasses that people get to uh, serve wine in, in, in pubs and restaurants and now we're looking at the, the wider impact and the way the trend has been over the, the past few years you're not expecting these figures to get any no. better are you? Well we've seen a, a year by year increase in the number of deaths from alcohol related illnesses um, every year for the, last, for the last few years and we're really worried that we could be seeing a further increase this year. Mm. Four people admitted then every hour for alcohol uh, liver disease, 22,000 premature deaths a year. Do you think the, the government's really got a handle on this? Well, what we are seeing is this increase. So obviously with the number of deaths and the number of illnesses and hospital admissions going up so dramatically, we've got to see some action um, to tackle the health-related harms from alcohol. Mm. It's a debate that, that, that comes around regularly and is, is never really resolved. Is it down to the price of alcohol or is it down to the stress that people are under or is it down to uh, wider licensing hours? I think it's a combination of factors. Um, we welcomed the government campaign that was launched on Monday to help people be aware of how much they're drinking because that's very important. It's also important that people are aware of the health harm that they could be risking, the number of different illnesses that they could be increasing their risk of, not just liver disease but also heart problems and cancer. So it's important people know about the health, the health harm from alcohol but I don't think we can rule out price as a factor. Mm. Which age group is most at risk then? We're talking about younger people, middle-aged one? Well, it actually cuts across um, the whole of the age groups. Children are now drinking twice as much as they were a decade ago, um, but we're seeing quite heavy drinking amongst, old, um, amongst young adults and regular drinking amongst older adults, all of which can put um, the liver and other vital organs under quite a lot of strain. Well, how much or how little alcohol does it take to, to damage your liver? It varies from person to person. But what we say, though, is if people stick to um, the government guidelines, which are two to three units for women and three to four units a day for men, give your liver two days off a week without alcohol, then you'll, you'll be keeping yourself relatively safe and mm. running a lower risk of health harm. Mm. But more than that, and you are getting close to the threshold, don't you? It, it, as I said, it does vary. Um, but for some people, they could be risking um, really serious health problems. Imogen Shilto, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's have a look at some of the papers this morning. They're still parting in Moscow after last night's Champions League final. At least Manchester United are. And we're waiting for the fans to arrive. Although, has Chris got the right terminal? <laughs> I don't know what They're meant to be here at me. seven. Uh, the front page of the Sun this morning. Van the man. Keep as United win penalty thriller. Mm. Uh, Ronaldo's picture is on the front page of the Independent. He scored United's first goal, then missed the penalty. I know. Amazing. Of for all Ronaldo people, to do that. Of all people. Uh, but the leader of the trade union movement in the main story has accused Gordon Brown of lacking a vision for Britain on the eve of the crew by-election. Uh, 